Hi, welcome to our Global Reach YouTube channel. My name is Morgan Ogg. I'm a digital marketing consultant specializing in Google tools and data analytics at Global Reach Internet Productions. If you're anything like me, you may have experienced a frustration when transferring from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4, primarily in the traffic acquisition report. While Google Analytics 4 has made it very easy to create custom channel groups, you may have found that a bulk of your direct traffic is showing as direct slash none. This means that the source is direct and the medium is none. So a session began directly on your website, but a medium could not be found. Let's begin by answering the question. What is direct traffic? Google defines direct traffic as a session with no referral source available or when the referring source or search term has been configured to be ignored. Traffic you might find under your direct channel may come from someone clicking on a link from an email campaign, for example. Or if someone has your website URL saved in their bookmarks, that would show up as direct none traffic because Google can't decipher a specific source or medium for this website visit. Other common reasons for direct none traffic are that a user could be typing in a website URL directly into their search bar, or maybe they clicked a referral link in a PDF or other non-online downloadable file. The user could have enabled an aggressive cookie blocker that makes it so Google can't track their website history or internet exploration. You see where I'm going with this. There are a plethora of reasons as to why traffic is grouped under direct none. So now that we've gotten through the what and the why, let's dive into Google Analytics 4 and learn how to find where your direct none traffic is coming from. First things first, you want to make sure that you are logged into the correct Google account that's associated with your Google Analytics 4 account. Once you're in your account, we're going to go to this report section on the left side of the page. And you'll see this reports snapshot, and this will be just the data from different reports. So we're going to go to acquisition, traffic acquisition, and this will be the report that I'm going to focus on in this tutorial. So we're going to go up here to add a comparison, and then it'll pull up this build a comparison panel on the right side. And I'm going to select a dimension. So for my dimension, I'm going to choose session source slash medium. And then for match type, I'm going to select exactly matches. And then my dimension value, I'm going to choose direct slash none. And then I'm going to click apply. I'm going to go back up here to the top and I'm just going to toggle off all users so that I'm not getting all of this comparison data. I'm not interested in all users right now. So if we scroll down, I'm going to exit out of that. If we scroll down, we should see just direct here. I'm going to click on this little drop down arrow and I'm going to change this to session source medium and it'll pull up direct none. And then I'm going to add another dimension and I'm going to make this one landing page and query string. And so now we can begin to see all of the data that is showing up under this direct none um, where they're landing. As you scroll through your data, you might find landing pages associated with email marketing campaigns that you've sent out. That's a great way of understanding where your email traffic is going if it's not being grouped correctly in Google Analytics 4. Unfortunately, many of the large email marketing creation tools traffic will end up in the direct channel rather than the email channel due to the way those programs handle URLs. This is a persistent issue until Google can find ways to track user session sources and mediums from those programs. The good news is that Google makes frequent updates to Google Analytics 4, so there is a chance that we will see a change in the next year or even the next six months in relation to this channel grouping error. At Global Reach, we like to make Google Looker Studio reports for our clients since they're an easy way to digest robust data. So I'll take the last part of this video to walk you through how I set up a Google Looker Studio report for this direct non traffic. So now I'm in Google Looker Studio, which can be found at lookerstudio.google.com. So I'm going to go and find my report that is associated with my website. And I'm going to go ahead and click edit. And I'm going to 
add a page and give my page a name. So I'm going to call this direct none traffic report. And then I'm going to add a chart table. And I already have a data source hooked up, but if you needed to add one, all you have to do is go to this add data and then find your Google Analytics connection here. So then in here, I'm gonna change this from event name to session source medium. I'm going to add a second dimension for landing page and query string. And then I'm gonna add metrics that matter to me. So I'd like to see total users, new users, and then oops, engagement. We're gonna do user engagement and engagement rate. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna stretch this all the way across so that my metrics and dimensions are visible. Um, for my clients, I like to remove the row numbers from the style. So I just went up to style here and then scrolled down until I saw row numbers. And now there are no more row numbers here. Um, I'm gonna add a filter and I'm going to include only I'm going to put contains just to be careful. Oops. And I'm going to give this filter a name. I'm going to call it direct none filter. I'm going to save. And then we're going to see all of the traffic under direct none where they are associated with on your website and then our user engagement and our engagement rate. And then once I would, I would make these a little bit prettier by maybe adding your logo up here, a description or title for your page. And then maybe if you wanted to add a control, let's say date range you can drop that here select your date range. Let's do the last 28 days and we'll apply that. And then if you wanted to, you could add a comparison. If I wanted to do previous period, apply that. And then now we can see whether it increased or decreased traffic on for those metrics on these pages with our direct none. So there you have it. Now you know where to find your direction on traffic. To recap some of the main points in this video, if you're running a campaign where you're sending people to specific pages on your website, but you're unable to find those campaigns in your other traffic channels, you may want to check your direct and on traffic because there's a good chance you'll see the landing pages in that data, especially for email marketing campaigns. Unfortunately, there isn't a great way of getting that traffic out from under the direct non source and medium quite yet, but keep checking back for an update in case Google changes how they group direct non traffic. If you found this tutorial helpful, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on Google Analytics and other digital marketing endeavors. Leave a comment down below if you have questions or suggestions for content you'd like us to make. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.